Abbott, who makes all these Libres, is essentially modifying the Libre 3 that it'll still measure your glucose, but it'll also simultaneously measure your ketones. And the concept there is that you'll see your glucose values like you normally do, but kind of in the background, it's measuring your ketones and will only alert you or send you that information when they become dangerously elevated. So you know, then you could potentially catch DKA kind of early. So this has been slightly controversial in terms of, I would say, like how useful or not this technology will be. I think I'm on the side that I think it's a, a great intervention. Steve, I think you're maybe on the other side. You actually did a debate on this topic. We had to debate the other side. Now I think you started believing yourself because of it. But David, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I'm <clears throat> somewhere in the middle. I think it's it's nice to have. It's a feature that's nice to have, but I don't think you absolutely need it. Um, my understanding, and I don't have inside scoop, but my understanding is that it will kind of be integrated into the Libre. It will help nudge people and be maybe a differentiator if you're you know, looking at your options and say, oh, I want the one that senses two things rather mm -hmm. than one thing. And there is some securities and some benefits um, to having ketone monitoring. But I, I do agree that I don't think it's, you know, a deal breaker. I think not having a CKM aspect isn't going to make you, you know, you're not going to get major FOMO or anything like that. So um, useful, yes, absolutely required, no. Well, you know, Jeremy, let me clarify my position okay. quickly. Okay. Uh, I'm all for the technology. We're going to learn so much about ambient uh, ketone levels in type ones during exercise fasting. And I, I think it's going to be quite helpful in people who are prone to DK or maybe on an SGLT2 inhibitor for the pediatric population. I'm sure the parents would love that. Yeah. 